So, oh, so much has happened. Uh, shoot on Friday was brilliant. I said, freeze. Anyway, welcome to Vlogmas Day 24. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you can hop back. I'll put a link below to Day 22 when I talk to you a little bit about, show you some more of the behind the scenes of a shoot I was involved in. It was great fun. It was wonderful. It's one of the best shoot days I've done, which is saying something. It was the Christmas bake along video. I'm very excited about it. I will link it below if you'd like to bake some gingerbread with a very good professional baker, Martha Collison taking you through, then I will link it below. Of course, there is gingerbread nativity people. It's all good Christmas fun. Anyway, back to the drama of the fridge freezer. And we still have some leftover beautiful gingerbread. I'm not even kidding. Martha, thank you so much. Those were genuinely the nicest gingerbread I have ever eaten. And I say that not lightly, but I guess a fresh thing is going to be better than some slightly sad thing that's been left on a Costa shelf for many a time in a coffee shop. Uh, I'm currently waiting for the bacon to do. It's very nearly done, but it's come out of the freezer. That is so broken. This is a situation that is sad. There is some lone ice cream and peas that are just chilling at room temperature in there. Um, we have our leftover hot chocolate that has been in the fridge. We have um, some fun drinks that are smoothies made out of berries and mango. Again, give a creative person a fridge freezer that is completely broken. Um, and we come up with some things. So it's just trying to work out currently what can be salvaged. So we did a clear out of the freezer last night to put it on the fridge and we definitely decided that the fridge has also now gone. So, um, no such thing as a dull moment. Uh, so I'm gonna call that bacon done. Again, trying to work out things like bacon that you can kind of cook completely through. I feel more happy that it's gonna be okay. John is appearing with the washing. Thank you so much, darling. Um, we've both been out already this morning. John went out for a run with a pasta and I have been out for a walk with a dear friend. That needs to be off or on. Oh no, you're gonna put it on. Sorry, thank you. Um, so this is brunch, but it is brunch of quirky nature of things that can be salvaged. Um, from the situation that is everything's broken that keeps things cold um, we are really 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 thankful actually there could have been this could have been when we've been doing Airbnb and a guest has stayed for Christmas and they've booked the place and this whole thing dies and it would basically be we would have to refund them like goodness knows possibly even more than what they would have paid um, so to know <laughs> that we have only, we had our hob broken, so actually we ended up using a load of stuff in the freezer. So that's been really good. Uh, we were running a very chill day yesterday for a proper Sabbath, proper rest, general thankfulness. And yeah, thankful we don't have to throw away tons of food. Thankful that it is when we can get it fixed and we have the time and energy to research it and just buy one and that it's coming tomorrow and not in a month's time. Um, there is much good when it could have been an utterly dreadful situation. I dread to even think what it could have been. Um, so we're gonna have our brunch of assorted smoothies and hot chocolate and defrosted bagels. There is joy and there is stress and there is, there is so much not captured on video that I'm just gonna have to trust that you can enjoy with me through this vlog to say <laughs> that we have a new fridge freezer! Mm -hmm. It is in! Look at it's beautiful! John is very kindly sweeping up because it's a mess on the floor. Uh, it is in. This can all thankfully now live in it, even though apparently it needs to sit for eight hours without being switched on, but it will still be cold. I don't understand. But we had two delivery guys who weren't, weren't your usual what you need in somebody who would be able to get something up a bunch of stairs. And we didn't fill in on our form uh, when we bought the thing that we lived in a block of flats. Now, we don't normally have problems with delivery, but when we've had any heavy items, it's been appropriate amount of people have come to deliver it. And so we assumed, wrong, that if you're having a delivery of a fridge freezer, they're gonna send some substantial muscle. Um, this was not the case. And we nearly had them drive away. Like genuinely, I was, properly scared they were just going to leave with our fridge freezer and that would have just been it and it would have gone to another depot because it was already a bunch of people who were not the original people so it had already been passed on once so we quickly called a an amazing friend who came right round 
uh, to be like, look, he's here, he can help. And then amazingly, our neighbours helped. And it was a properly, properly crisis moment of these lads all trying to lift this fridge freezer up stairs. And there was shouting and there was heaving and there was giggles and amazingly, <laughs> genuinely amazingly, this thing was unboxed to be able to get it up the stairs. And it is here without a scratch. We are indebted. Um, but I'm just so thankful to the Lord. This could have been an absolute, like, weeping mess of a moment that the fridge was just there and it was outside and they couldn't take it into us. So after the drama, I mean, this is this has gone on for exactly an hour since we were stood here actually getting it out. So basically an hour and a half getting this thing in. I mean, can you just imagine an hour and a half of basically begging delivery drivers at the point where John was basically just like, please. <laughs> Just please help us. Oh. oh dear, that parsnip. That parsnip looks pretty past it, doesn't it? I think I might might have gone. No, I think it's got something in there. It's got a little squidge. We can shave that off. Parsnip, parsnip. <laughs> Ta-da! She's back. She's wiped clean, antibacterial wiped, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a still unplugged fridge. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a joy. Thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please do. If you'd like to see me popping up again, other than when YouTube decides that I should, please press the notification bell. And I will see you later. Goodbye now.